Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, we're going to look at calendars and the two big types of calendars, resource calendars, as well as project calendars. In this demonstration, we're going to look at project calendars as well as resource calendars. So both can be found on the project tab and then change work in time. Now in this example, we're going to first affect the project standard calendar and we're going to add in the Christmas break. Now this particular project example is starting in December 2023, so it will be affected by the Christmas break. So we'll add the dates, so we're on the standard calendar in the exceptions area and we'll add in Christmas break. Put the dates in. So we'll say 22nd till the 2nd. And if you click in the line below, you'll then see the shading of what you've just done. So you know that the dates have been affected. And there we go. Um, what will happen now in this case, the project duration won't change. That'll stay at 56 days, but the finish date will. That will move from under the 19th. Let's click OK to that. And that's now gone to the 29th of February. And the blue shows you all the tasks that are affected by that change. Now we're looking now in this example, we'll look at the resource calendar non-working. So same idea, change working time. And this time we're going to put the HR manager on a training course for the HR induction. We're going to go to the same idea, but this time we use a different calendar. So HR manager, exceptions. We'll say it's a mandatory health and safety course. And we'll say it's affecting HR induction. So it's somewhere between the 16th of February and the 29th of February. So we'll pick, so pick three dates between that. So I'll go for the 20th to the 22nd. And I click below to see the change. And there's the change, the highlighted dates. What will happen in this case, the duration will change by three days and the finish date will change by three days. Okay to that. And there we go, the finish date is now going into March. We've gone on to 59 days. I've got one more example of uh, calendars. In this case, it's uh, resource working time. So I've got a different file to demonstrate. So same kind of look to the file. We're going to put the HR manager on here on part-time working. Because let's say the, the person has just returned from maternity leave. And we want to ease the person back into work. So it's going to be part-time working and the person's already been allocated to the project full time at this point in time. So same idea, change work in time. HR manager again. And this time work weeks. I'm gonna change the uh, details for the work week. And when I say Monday to Friday, I'm holding my shift key down and clicking on Friday. I'm gonna set these to specific work times and I'm going to take out the afternoon session. So now I click on the gray box next to the afternoon session and delete it. So we can now see that half the day has been taken away to a resource that's already been allocated. What you'll see shortly is the afternoon session will disappear from the calendar. And when I click OK, the duration will change uh, by a lot of days, as well as the uh, finish date will also change. So we'll now click OK. And there's the afternoon session gone. Click OK again, and now we can see the impact that that has changed to over 100 days and the finish date has gone quite substantially. But this now completes the training demonstration video on project calendars as well as resource calendars. This now completes the demonstration of calendars and resource calendars. See you in the next video.